One of our commitments is just to an experiential education. The retreat is part of an annual process we have where we get together in the fall for strategic planning and in the spring usually for pedagogical or strategic discussions. We're not focusing on teaching, we're focusing here on learning. We all have different learning styles. The way many of us went to school, we sat in a chair and we were lectured at and we regurgitated on an exam. Now there's lots of discussion, there's lots of exploration, lots of arguing. The way this is related to space is that if all you have is what's called the sage on the stage, you simply need a lot of chairs and tables all facing one direction. But if what you're interested in is real engagement by the students, then you need a very different kind of space that allows for much more collaboration, much more students looking at each other rather than all going one way from faculty to student. It goes around and around in many, many different ways. You need a different space for that. Uh, we are in a building that's had many different functions over the years. It's about 50 to 60 years old now. Um, it was really designed in its current configuration for that very traditional kind of education where students come, they sit in a classroom, they listen and they leave. But we've talked for a long time about needing a better space where students have places to congregate, where faculty and students can interact in a, in a more social way to explore ideas, to carry on conversations outside the classroom, because what happens now is you're in the classroom and you may have very, very active learning going on in the classroom. The class is over, students leave, faculty leaves, and that's the end of the conversation. So what I hear is that you already have that one-on-one -on -one student connection. How do you keep those conversations going? How do you create a space that's inviting to both faculty, students, and staff? I'm Susan Dana. I'm currently the Interim Dean of the College of Business at Montana State University.